I'm kind of like a detective, trying to understand life that I did not see. There's an interchange between past and present, and we want to know what's going to happen in the future. Being able to answer that question is really compelling to me. Every day, I get to investigate questions about worlds that no longer exist, that nobody ever saw, but that were real. As a paleontologist, you get to wear two hats. The hat of a geologist, so you need to know how to read layers of rock through time. The other hat you wear is the hat of a biologist, needing to know what that life is telling you. And then that's all part of the detective story. You are literally walking through ancient environments using the tools of a geologist and a biologist to understand life that you did not see. What excites me most is that moment of discovery. It's thrilling to be the first person to lay eyes on a fossil that had been buried for millions of years. It's flight of the imagination into time periods that are so far in the remote past, we almost have a hard time imagining them. Not only is there that exciting aspect of being the first person to lay eyes on that fossil, but the hope that maybe this is something that will help us understand some part of the mystery before us. As a kid, my parents would take me to museums and I quickly understood that those are special places where the evidence, those objects about the past, are held in trust, they're protected, they're studied. What the Smithsonian does is engage in knowing about the world around us. And it's our job to be custodians of those objects, but also the stories that go with them. We house fossil and modern skeletons, that library of material that's been collected for not just decades, but centuries. That's all part of the detective work that we undertake. To understand the fate of any species on the planet, you need to look at the evidence from the past and what it tells you. Those are key parts of a forward-looking story that we're all actively interested to know the answer to. We still don't know hardly enough about life on this planet. We still have plenty of mysteries to solve, and I know that there are plenty of exciting things yet to be discovered out there.